Hi and uh, welcome to this quick video where I'm going to be going over uh, a couple of the common problems you might have with overlay materials if you want to get them up and uh, are running well. Uh, overlay materials are awesome and as you can see here I've got a overlay material that's basically just blue which I placed on a cube and on Manny. Now if you want to do this you'll find that there is an advanced slot that has uh, overlay material on which applies the material to the entire of your entire of your mesh regardless of the amount of material slots that you have. If I was to take it off it would look like that and if I put it on it looks like that. Now the first problem you can see is that um, not all of Manny is coming up as blue, so our overlay material is not covering the whole thing. And um, the reason for that is um, that your overlay material is going to be on the exact, exact same vertices for your uh, mesh, underlying mesh. So if another material pushes things out or it doesn't align it, you may find that you don't see the material. It's a very quick fix. So you can see my setup for my material here and the quick fix is to basically take the vertex normals and you basically want to move them using world position. So for, for example all I'm doing here is taking the vertex normals in world space and multiplying them by 0.2 and plugging them into the world position offset. And if I apply and save and jump back to money you'll now see that the material will be entirely all over it. Okay um, the next problem is say you wanted to um, grab a texture um, uh, like a checkered pattern and I wanted to just apply a checkered pattern to my character. Um, you're gonna see now this will work fine on the cube because it's taking the UVs However, it's going to be a little bit odd on our, our main character here. Now, um, the fix for this, if you want to place a material, um, it's a little bit more complicated. And I'll, I'll show you what I've got written here. But what I'm looking at at this point, to delete that, is I am grabbing the, the pre-skinned local normals and the pre-skinned uh, local position. And then I'm using a world aligned texture in order to uh, take the texture object and spread it across that. I've also, because it's hard to use the standard panner, I have um, I just I'm using a I've created a, I'm adding to the world of the world local position to to um, to pan this material. And so that would allow us to have effects such as if I would drag this in and stick this over the uh, probably the opacity. So I'm just going to change this to a translucent. Um, and I will place that into the base color. Apply. You can now see that the material is, is running down over these characters. Um, the final thing that you probably want to do is uh, you can stick it into the emissive color, which you sh which if you just multiply it into the emissive color, and in multiplying it into the emissive color, that will light it up a little bit. Slow this down. Um, and the other thing that you might want to do is turn off depth testing. So if you turn off the depth test and apply, you can. Um, so now 
we've got our slowly moving element here. And if I was to add in another cube, so let's add in another cube and move that forward. You can see that this, this effect now goes through. By turning off the depth, depth test, I've got an automatic sort of, uh, I can automatically see this through. So again, if I was to turn off the depth test, apply save, see that gets rid of that. All right, so just quick fixes for that. 